people of Ghana into a Nigerian get pleasure bringing you political news in a channel of Ghana TV. Nana Badi, journalist said she was very happy with Dr. Bormia's proposed solution for Galamse. Please switch. My good friend Nana Banamwa got herself roasted by NPPP, NDC people, and that's what we must stop in this country. When somebody indicates his, uh, his or her opinion about political matters, I mean, if the person is not a frontline political person like some of us, like me, I'm a frontline political news reporter. You can say anything you want to say about me. It's okay. I understand that this fair game is part of my work. But you see, when musicians or artists or somebody says something about what they see in politics and immediately we think that then they're giving money. Da, da, da. So as soon as we were talking about Anama, there also came Bulldog, the, the other guy, Bulldog. Bulldog said that there's no reason why anybody should vote for any other candidate other than John Dramani Mahama. Nobody, nobody should attack him for that. That is his view of the matter. Bulldog is not a frontline politician. Nanaba is not a frontline politician. I am a frontline politician. You can say that about me. I mean, other journalists who are doing frontline political journalism, you can say that about us. But when somebody is just a, a, a newsreader or current affairs person, socialite who is just concerned about the country and says that I like what this one said, hey, then they there. Especially when she's a woman, then they have to say she's a shao. I mean, that thing, it irks me so much. What is that? A woman talks something and he's a shao. Anyway, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. All right, let's hear what Muhammad Baumia said about Galamsey. This is what he said. We are trying to always chase people, but we are not trying to prevent it happening in the first place. So one needs to look at the whole regime of small-scale mining and sanitize that regime. Regularize the regime. Make sure that we, we, the Geological Survey, the authority of Ghana, number one, does the mapping for where all the gold reserves are. At the moment, people are just doing trial and error destroying our environment there is no data backing where they go they just go and dig they don't find they go to the next place and start digging they don't find they go to the next place but i want us to set up community mining schemes with certainty from the logical it's actually very appalling that so many persons don't need to understand that this is millennium where you have freedom of speech how to say things and not coming to insult a journalist just because she made her own view about a particular thing. Coming out to say that she is very happy with Dr. Bormia's proposed solution for Galaxy doesn't warrant so many persons to come out to insult her and call her names. That is purely her own opinion. We have other people that actually come to say what they want to say about their own preferred candidates survey department that here you have gold. Let's break down what Dr. Baumia said, okay? So the mining regime has one level called prospecting. Prospecting means that I go to the minerals commission and I say I want to prospect for minerals. And if I find the minerals, I come back and report to the minerals commission and I'm told how to go about it. Now this prospecting permits me to take equipment into forest areas, whichever area, and then start digging. The allegation is that it is this prospecting, the gaps around the prospecting, the loophole around the prospecting, the lack of tight um, legal regime around the prospecting license is what has occasioned this Galamse business. Mahmoud Baumia is saying that take out prospecting. No, we are no longer going to do prospecting. The Geological uh, Institute of Ghana must itself find money and do the prospecting and identify gold in places so that when you come to apply, you're applying for the gold at Kwamo. So if you are giving license to go and mine the gold at Kwamo, then when there's Galamse occurring in Kwamo, they know that it's Adomotri and Akunta mining who are in Kwamo and it is their fault why the water at Kwamo is getting bad. So we know who to identify. If you continue doing this prospecting license, where you come and license me, that I should go and prospect for uh, gold in tick room, or Fumesa. And I go there and I'm prospecting. I start prospecting from Tikrum. Then I cross into Fumesa. Then I'm in Jachi. And then um, you come and tell me that it is Galamse. I'll say, oh no, I'm not the one. It is Akunta Maini who are doing the Jachi one. It's not me. Oh, it's not my boy. It's this guy's boy. It creates a certain loophole, a certain wide area, a gray area where you cannot actually hold responsibility onto certain people. So what he's saying is that 
Let's cut out prospecting. Let the geological do the prospecting. The reason why we allow them to do the prospecting, it costs a bit of money. So they are going to spend their own money. And we will know that there's gold here. And they give government percentage and royalties and all of that. So it was kind of good to make government sit pretty and let people spend their money. But he's saying that government should spend that money. And his point is that we are always trying to change people instead of changing the circumstance. That's really what he's saying. Play Muhammad Baumia. A lot of people have actually come out to say that Dr. Baumia is so, so, so proficient like he is. Someone we actually need here in Ghana because he has solution to almost everything that comes out. Here, Gamsi has been causing a lot of issues and the solution he's bringing for Gamsi is actually going to break, make everything understand that yes, they are not pursuing anyone or they are not sacking anyone. They actually want to make it a professional one that will not spoil anything in Ghana. Again, and then we can get we can get the facts right. Play it again and we come to the rest of the story. We are trying to always chase people, but we are not trying to prevent it happening in the first place. So one needs to look at the whole regime of small-scale mining and sanitize that regime, regularize the regime, make sure that we, we, the geological survey, the authority of Ghana, number one, does the mapping for where all the gold reserves are. At the moment, people are just doing trial and error, destroying our environment. There is no data backing where they go. They just go and dig, they don't find, they go to the next place and start digging, they don't find, they go to the next place. But I want us to set up community mining schemes with certainty from the geological survey department that here you have gold. So upon this explanation, media covered it. And then um, the Naba Namoa here says that... Um, I just listened to Dr. Baumier's remarks on Galamse. Glad he's finally commented on the menace. His solution is the most practical one I've heard so far. I hope he walks the talk if he gets the mandate. And what's, what's wrong with this? What is so wrong with this? She's not saying vote for Baumier. She's not saying that. She's just saying that I've heard his solution. I think is one of the best. If you have a solution, you can tell her that, no, 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 no. This solution is useless. Listen to what he's saying. It's not workable. It's not practical. How can uh, somebody else do that? Has he checked the amount of money? Da, da, da. You can say all that. And then present your solution as well to the general public. But if he says that this, his solution is the most practical one I've had, and he says, I hope he walks the talk if he gets the mandate. This is, this looks like a neutral talking. He's not saying that vote for Baumia. He's not saying that when he gets the mandate. He says if. The difference is when and if is that when means that I am certain that you'll get it. If means that I don't know whether you get it. So if she says, if he gets the mandate, come and see the way the people were fighting her. Do you, do you have some of it? Do you have some of it? Yeah, yeah, some of it. Uh, 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 this one, Abner Friye tells her that Dear Nanaba, I know you've got all the answers when it comes to Baumier's practical solutions, but you have, but have you tried applying them to your own love life? I mean, Abner Friye, you should be ashamed of yourself. Abner, you're a woman. You are a woman. You should be ashamed of yourself. Abner Friye, you are a woman. A woman who has managed to rise to a certain occasion and a certain level. It's indicating her views because she's public. She has millions of followers. She's indicating her views about the menace that we are all talking about, that this politician has said something that I think makes sense. She's not saying that that's the only solution. She's not comparing the politician's solution to another politician because another politician hasn't said anything. The another one hasn't said anything. And another one too hasn't said anything. The other one too hasn't said anything. It's only one person who has said something. And he said that this thing that Dr. Baumia has said, for me, it looks like it makes sense. You two bring your solution, then you tell her that she should apply the Galamse solution, which is to say that there's no... At some point, you will actually notice that the social media is not really helping a lot. It is a room where even a minor will confidently throw insults to others. Like, Nanaba did not do anything. He didn't even come to complain for Dr. Boma. He only said, she only said that this is 
one of the best solutions she has had so far. That's if Dr. Bonnet will become president and applies them. It doesn't warrant even so many persons to come out, insult her, not just her, insult even her own love life. No prospecting to her love life, really. You should apply it to her love life. Girl, I'm saying prospecting and love life. You can say that because you just want to say something. Because you think that she says something positive about uh, Dr. Baumia, so you are angry. This is, not, this is what worries me. This is not how to fight politics. If somebody says something, you have to bring your something. And so that we compare the two somethings and make a determination of where we are. This issue about as soon as somebody who is neutral, even Father Campbell, they've been insulting him. Even Father Campbell. That he's going to say that Akufado is good or Baumia is bad. Or, hey! I think this is very unfair. And everybody... And I saw Franklin Kujo post something about it that I didn't quite like. I think that once I've read what she said, I've not seen everything she said. She said that if she gets the nod. But what Dr. Baumia said, it requires ventilation. It requires a debate. Is it doable? Is it workable? Is it possible? That's what young people should be looking at. The other candidate hasn't said anything about it. He said zero. Today, he's had opportunity to speak. Yesterday, he spoke. Zero about Galamse. Okay, you can say that he is not the government. He's opposition. The responsibilities for government. Fair enough. That's understandable. So, the government vice president has offered his prognosis solution to the matter. That is it. And then you come and say that, hey, she's this, she's that. I've been free. Shame on you. Who else said something about it? Um, we have here, we've been there before. Always misleading the populace with your selfish interest. Not again this time. Uh, voting for the NDC candidates is a complete waste of time. Kujo Ponkrumah, your next MP will be working for you. I'm not sure why Ofwasi Arabi is mixed with this one. But uh, this T4P says that Nanaba is doing selfish interest. What is selfish about this? Papa J Jr. says that, ha, ha, ha. You need money to repair the machines because they are getting old and old. So you have to go this way. Not surprised at all. A uh, good job. I don't. Uh, what machine is? Oh goodness. Okay, the green blood. That's his name. He says cash out for the weekend. To and why? Why didn't they put their names there? And they call themselves green blood. And <laughs> Obori Ayat says that you see that you are no longer relevant in Ghana after the younger generations have realized how fake you are. Blah 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 blah. I don't understand it. Baumia has said something. The person says that what Baumia says, if he can do it. She says, I hope she will walk the talk. That's what she said. I don't like women being bastardized in this kind of way at all. It's, 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 it's symptomatic of a backward society when we don't understand the role of women, when we don't respect women, and when we don't allow women to come into decision making and we have to put cover women into the back. There's a reason why God plays women where he plays them. And any modern society must recognize that. Young people, let's not be like that. Let's not do that. It, it shows that our society is backward when we are unable to contain women in leadership. It shows that our society is backward. When a woman says something that is wrong, it is wrong. It's not that because she's a woman, you can't say it is wrong. It is wrong. But what this lady said, there's absolutely nothing wrong about it. He said, somebody has had a solution. You know, you are sitting there. Omani Boama, I always mention them. Sami Jemfi, Joyce Bauer. Have you designed a solution for John Mahama in the Galamsi? Have you designed it? Have you looked at the Galamsi and told him that, Mr. President, this is the way you need to do it? Have you done that? You haven't done that. Some people have sat in a room and put a solution together, shared it with their candidate. The candidate likes it. The candidate talks about it. Somebody says that this is a solution. And then you say, hey, you should go and look at her love life. Are you interested in her love life? Do you want to be a partner, a partaker in her love life? Is that the reason why you are saying the things you are saying about her? I think that's very unfortunate. Please do well to like, comment, follow. Put on your notification bell so you get all our news one by one. Thanks for everything.